All right, time for a review of Future Card Buddy Fight, Episode 3. Um, or as we now like to call it, the Everyone Hates Gao Show. Yeah, Everyone Hates Gao Show. People treat him like crap for no reason. <laughs> no, they're all just Cinder. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to. Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> just, I don't know, man. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is the first episode where we are introduced to some magic world. Um, and the player of the magic, our resident player, I hate him so much. Uh, but at least we also get introduced to now the best character of the show. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. It came with the worst. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's freaking demon. What was his, um... Asmodai. No, not he, was, uh, these, did he, have, he had another name. Demon Lord Osmodai. Yeah, Demon Lord, right. Demon Lord Osmodai. For those who don't know, this guy. The dance moves. <laughs> he's a hip oh, God, demon, man. Yeah, he's hip uh, with the kids. He, he is friend to all children, he, apparently. Apparently, he teaches them how to break dance on TV and moonwalks. And he's, yeah, man. Yeah, he's um, yeah. In fact, uh, he spent a good chunk of the episode signing autographs for children. Spoilers. Voiced by Luke Gilbertson. If you don't know who that is, I'll give you a hint. He likes grade threes. Yeah. I, and if you haven't figured it out yet, it's Morikawa. Yeah. In fact, a lot of people in this it's show came from Vanguard. Yeah, Parko is a Carol Ann Day who did Misaki. So, yeah. And the lead is obviously uh, Patricia. Uh, what was She's Kamui. Yeah, yeah. Which is funny because in the Japanese version, he's also voiced by Kamui. Kamui. <laughs> Kamui. Uh, the name is awesome. Yeah. The girl they, they've got some good talent there. They're just wasted on. It's really bad. Those people. It's yeah, really bad uh, scripts. But with that being said, um, Osmo Dai's character is made to work really well because that guy's awesome. Yep. He just gets to be him. All right, so I guess we'll go to the plot. Um, they're watching Osmo Dai on the screen and copying what he does. And while um, Drum is getting situated with the house life of his um, parents, one of which has this hand, you see, where it looks like it's behind the cup, but it bends all the way around the cup at the same time. Like this. It's way something too like animation quality, guys. <laughs> the animation quality of this episode It's like, cause compared, compared to the first two episodes, like, there was some kind of drop, especially with all the motion that's going on in that so that's probably yo, why. Like, yo, 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 yeah, yeah. Like, we'll yo, get to we'll yo. get to that. We'll no, get to but, that. Like when the, when I, they show Osmodai on the TV and he's dancing, like the first thing of him dancing, okay. it's fine. But the second, <laughs> it's so shot many, of him, so much scene, just missing frames everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, it was so bad. I like literally was like almost crying at how bad it was. Yeah, I was laughing so hard. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, clearly they, they weren't meant to uh, use their budget on. Dancing demons. He like hops around and glitches. <laughs> and then there was pudding. Pudding. Yep. And uh, John gets uh, his first his first taste of pudding. And his horse and if you can't if you can't tell that that's how the yeah, main story of Buddy Fight generally goes. What? It's dream size of life. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my friend's building. For now. Cats. For now, it might go until they get trapped in the monster world. <laughs> Just like Tusker did, I assume. <laughs> but, yeah. We don't know that yet, but we know yeah, man, that. It's, there are enough Digimon feels here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still very Digimon. So anyway, they after that, they go to school. Baku, change my deck to put this card in it. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, you don't know You can't handle Gargantuan Punishment because yeah, yeah. you don't know when to use it. Except it says when to use it, and there's literally no drawback ever. It's the instant win button! How do you not know? Okay, I'm gonna push the instant win button! Instant win button, go! I think you guys are full of crap. Yeah, you see, they're under the impression it's just as good as Soul Saver Dragon. Wait, you mean like, are you talking about the... I'm link talking about like the movies. Oh, well, like yeah. the Link Joker guy. No, I mean, no, I mean like Five how. Five black units. Okay, cool. Wait, no, 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 not literally hard news. I mean like Kamui said to Aichi not to use the card because it's too tricky. Uh, it's not that's that tricky. Yu-Gi-Oh. It's <laughs> <laughs> not the tricky. Shut up, you. 
Your face. Uh, Mixing fan bases. Anyway. I did it anyway. You have to put it in anyway because... There wasn't even any real convincing. It was just... He did anyway. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, it wasn't really convincing so much as... He it, asked nicely. He asked nicely. <laughs> and then they say, you know, but before we do that, you have to find yourself a tuner. I thought it might have been tutor. No, it's definitely tuner. Yeah. They're definitely saying an M. Yeah. Tutor? Yeah. Like, like Yu-Gi-Oh? Just say, no, it's like, just... It's basically a training partner, partner, but... But they call it, I don't think tuner is an actual word for that. No. I think that's just a made up Maybe. word. Maybe. <laughs> I'm Canadian English, man. <laughs> Speaking of Canadian English, before we go further, Freaky, what is up with Gal's mom's voice? Oh. Like, she's completely clear and easy to hear when she's screeching at you. <laughs> but when she's talking normally, it sounds like they got the actress from Japan to fly over and do the dub. Or Quebec. I don't fucking know. <laughs> We should look into that one. We should look at that one. She sounds very not English. What if Suiko ran <laughs> my face? Because everyone else is there. Be. So yeah, it's entirely possible. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So they get to school, um, and when they're in the class with Mr. Negi no Yama, you know. I think we need to address the racism at this point. Yeah. 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 yeah, apparently there's a lot of racism between these guys, but that's neither here nor there. That's for the themes at the end. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, while they're in the class being tutored, uh, Gal sees bananas walking behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking. Tatsuya! <laughs> I just yeah. love that no one laughed at him for saying, I just saw some bananas walk by, because they all know. Because they all know who it is. <laughs> Yo. Like, the teacher knew who it was as soon as he said bananas. Yo. <laughs> and yeah, that's where we get introduced to Tetsuya. Let's see if we got a picture of him in here. God damn it. Stupid face. Stupid face, yeah. He's, if you guys don't remember him, he's the guy with the bananas on his head. For no reason! And I'm not saying like they look like bananas. I mean they are literally bananas. And no one's eating them, so I have to wonder what the fuck, man. So like, yeah, I got... But then again, it's just like Negi no Yama. His face is made of onions. I would totally pick on that kid and just steal his banana hair and eat it in front of him. But it grows back. It says in his description that they grow back. So if you do it, they'll just grow new ones. That's weird. It is weird. I don't know why he has he those. He was and then he wasn't because apparently this guy has like the big uh, 50 charisma. Yeah. Does he have bananas forever? Yeah, he's no never star. Because he stars. gets the teacher dancing. Yeah, he gets the teacher was... dancing with his rap talk. <laughs> yo, 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 yeah. I say yo. yo, yo, yo a lot because you know. He gets the whole class just chanting. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yep. Finished off with the teacher on the ground saying, I haven't boogied like that since 1999. You're old. Apparently we're old now because that's not old to us, at least Elliot and me, and possibly Zach and Emily. I don't even know how old you are, but I'm assuming it is. I don't think that's true. I didn't think so. Why? <laughs> but yeah, so that's... Where we introduced to Tetsuya, and Gao immediately likes him because every one apparently does. So he goes to ask him to be a, uh, his tuner. I want to be a tuner. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. Let me ask my buddy. This <laughs> buddy runs out there because, again, buddies aren't allowed in the classroom. You don't hear him talking with anybody, but he comes back. And of course, freaking he has drum to wasn't. Gargantua Punisher. <laughs> and of course, freaking drum must not have been out there because he didn't mention anything. He either left or fell asleep. But yeah, he says he'll only play him if they... He, that's the Gargantua Punisher. If he wins, he gets to use it, whatever. And he'll be his tuner. If he loses, he can't use it ever again. So, naturally, that basically sets... Set the flag for rape training. Right? Yep, yeah, set the defeat flag for uh, Tetsuya right there. Doesn't help that he himself is bad at this game, but... Oh, so bad. Like, but I call a guy. I don't do anything else. Damn, get it off the field. Magical goodbye. Yeah, using magical goodbye as soon as he calls someone. Uh, and then yeah, he's like... Just play it again. I'll just play it again. And it's like, wait a minute. Fuck! 
Also, another thing, Haruko. Uh, more on the everyone hates Gal thing. I don't right. think Gal's gonna He's... win. He went up against the freaking the best player in the world and beat him. And this guy. Is well, remember, beat everyone completely... thinks everyone thinks that he did it by luck. Yeah. But of course, at the end of this, clearly it wasn't because he beats him too. Big overconfidence <laughs> problem. But this other guy, yeah, whatever. So who knows? <laughs> Yep, uh, and of course, every time they do, they say this stuff, and like insult him to his face, he just stands there smiling. Like he doesn't even hear them saying it, apparently. He doesn't. But, he but, but, he doesn't need this shit. Yeah, because <laughs> cause clearly they, they, he can hear it, he's just not listening to it, because Drum hears it, and it keeps getting mad with the same CG pose every single time. This needs to be a plot point where eventually like Drum addresses it, like, man, why do you keep on letting people walk him? He's like, well, they've done it all my life, so I've just learned to block it out. How about you shut up, Em? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a next shut up M for the uh, season. Uh, well, uh, even though the deck wasn't tested very thoroughly, apparently he knows what he's fucking doing now. Yeah, he the freaking. Winning image is very clear. Yeah, he freaking set it up to have um, his drum be on his side so he can get in there and fight with his items because that's what he said he wanted to do. And he gets item his new uh, item that basically every time he hits, it was what, pay one life? Uh, no, you pay one life to equip it. Oh, pay one life to equip it. Every time he hits, you get a... Hey, uh, Kevin's back. You get a gauge one. Yep. Hello, Kevin. Hey. What you doing back? Kevin starts at 4.30. So, after some nice. derp and some derp and some panic over, oh my god, Tetsuya played his impact card, I'm dead. Uh, no, dude, you've got like... Six life. What are you doing? <laughs> Get up. Which is fair enough. It's like for some for a phase called the final phase, you think that all of the impact cards would kill you dead or be able to. Apparently, that not one necessarily. Would have if Tetsuya wasn't a fucking moron. Yeah, if he wasn't a freaking moron, it would have killed him. But he's not. It's yeah. He's clearly doesn't know how to play this game. Asmodai does. Asmodai does, and it helps the system. And he is like the most hammiest. Car, uh, buddy fighter there is. You're gonna be king of the magical world! King of the magical world. This yells to everybody. <laughs> With his rape face. It's the power of Morikawa. No matter what role is he in, he just steals the scene. Yeah. <laughs> Best character in the show. So. And just uh, swing, punch. Oh look, four life. Oh look, four gauge. Death. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it just got up. And of course, the, uh, well, I was about to say the name that we call this person, we're just going to call him Tiger Shirt. Kitten Shirt. Just Tiger. Just call him Tiger. Because we don't want to say the other name in public for reasons of reasons. Um, it says, I could have done it, I could say, I could, I could finish it in, in less time. Yeah. Less time than what, two turns? Two turns. <laughs> two turns. <laughs> like, seriously, this person is like the most obnoxious character in the, game, in the show, but unlike Tessia, is supposed to be. It's supposed to be the person you don't like because yeah. they keep thinking that the game is based on chance, even though this person clearly hasn't had a match on screen once, and clearly Gal's consistent record proves otherwise. This used to be the perfect He knows how this game works. Yeah, no, he's trying to reach the deck on his own because... Uh, because his cause, friends are assholes! Yep. Yeah, yep. friends are dicks, so it's like, I'm just going to do it myself. <laughs> Can't rely on anyone. Well, that is a good moral. This is very good. And <laughs> drum, I'm eating your pudding. <laughs> yeah, it ate drum pudding that was left Even for Even though him. he was there when his mom said, I'll make you more. When you get home. And I'm eating drum's pudding, I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> well, I'm not eating under any circumstances. Oops. Oops, sorry, you know. I'm not your buddy anymore. He jumps out the window. <laughs> no buddies. That's that. And that's buddies the episode. Um, all right, so now we can go into uh, extra things. Primarily, like we said, the racism thing. Like, the constant theme that we've been seeing since episode two is there's some weird rules and regulations that clearly separate uh, the monsters from the humans. It's like, the monsters keep on saying crap to humans like they, they're, they're incompetent. Even though they're being their buddies. It's too hard for you humans. And then the, the humans are like, you monsters are not allowed here. You can't be this big, etc., etc. You'll scare the humans, even though we clearly know you exist. As far as we know, because if you recall, his dad said oh, yeah. that um, they, that his co-workers will not believe him that there was a dragon breathing fire on his roof, even though 
part of the police has a big fire breathing dragon with a giant sword on his head. <laughs> like, come on, guys, come on, really? Like, the inconsistency is still there, full force. But at least the card fights are getting more, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for here, actually? Better. Realistic is a good word for it. It's like, it's. He's like Tetsu is legitimately bad at this game, and you see he's legitimately bad at this game. Yeah. So he keeps right. screwing up. God, does he fail? <laughs> Worst character. Which is which is a win for Gal. I can expect for a second win, like beating um, Sasuke. You know what? It was it was probably gonna happen. You know, this one it's because his opponent was incompetent. Like if he were forced to fight, like I don't know, the second best player in the world, I would say, okay, come on now. This is just being silly. He's got to lose eventually. He's gonna lose. Stop being kid. Yep. Get to game on. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure. It's gonna be the end of the uh, show thing. Okay. I'm just making sure that. Um, other elements. Uh, we already went over the mom and the dad. Um, and the animation quality, which is still everywhere. But as far as the card fight ones, I'm hoping this one thing changes for those. They keep reusing the CG, like, and I don't mean just like the CG, like, po like attacks, like just like when they're standing there. They use the exact same one as they did in the second episode, where Kira just there and then Kira Jump gets angry for no reason. <laughs> but it's like whatever. The, the actual fights are still pretty de decent. They're still jumping around and fighting, shooting spells out. Yeah, punching in the face. Freaking thousand rapier dragons stabbed him multiple times. Oh yeah, how's that donkey stab freaking oh, yeah. extreme that in the back? Donkey. Oh with god, that donkey. With the guitar. No, use the guitar as a shield, and then use two daggers to like stab his freaking back. And the pain on extreme space. If you don't know what you're talking about, this guy, he's part of Magic World. He's a guitar donkey with punk hairstyle and tattoos with uh, daggers inside his guitar. Evidently a size one. Yeah, we have no idea about that. We do know that. He had some sort of card that cloned it. <laughs> yeah, he did. And um, also, we got to see um, Osmo Dai's uh, skill in action. Basically, German suplexes them. It's great. And there was so much dancing and rapping and that phase, boy. Yeah, that that could have it could have done with less of. Didn't need all that yo, 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 and all this dancing and stuff. Like, e like if you like him, fine, fair enough, but I can easily see why you don't like him. Tarko needs to go die for cheering alongside him. I honestly don't think she's as bad as you're making her out to be. I don't like her! Why is that? She's a bad Yeah, she's there to be hype. Like, I don't know what you're expecting from her. She's supposed to be there to raise the crowd. And she does that. Yeah. She'll stop being a bitch soon. Hopefully. Yeah, seriously. I mean, he's like barely knew her. It's not like Tetsuya where he instantly gives you a reason not to like him with his bad rapping. Uh, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't come back for a while because I, I can't. he is in, automatically off. Oh. It's like I can't. Yeah, I, I, even I can't handle it that much. And like, I like the episode. I was a spoiler right there. I actually like the episode overall, but freaking Tetsuya needs to go. Like, or at least stop rapping. Like, if you thought Edgy was dumb, I think that time's like five. He's like the freaking Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge Jaden. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That's what he is! He's good! Oh, God, this guy. But that's what I make up for. He's like the best character ever. Yeah. It's, it's sad. We're probably he is only like, going to get Osmo died when freaking he's, banana head He's like Gamera, friend of children. Yeah. Uh, join me in some stretches. No. Suddenly stretches in our video. Oh yeah, stretches. Now put your tail over your head. Yeah. Move. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry. Is that gonna stretch for you? Ow. I think, we just I think that basically covers everything that you uh, have to cover. Next episode, the rules of funny fight. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> we'll actually talk about the rule rules, I guess. Like the timing here is the fucking worst thing. Yeah. The rules are funny. Almost like this should have happened in episode one when he picked up the kid. Oh, I have the one. It's yeah. The uh, first episode with 
did not do any justice by being nothing about these are the characters we'll see. Enjoy them. This is Bowser. He's a character. Please look forward to that. It really could have been used for, you know, the first match. It's like... You, they could have paced this, paced the first episode a lot better, but at least this episode shows that they can pace well if they try. Because you know we had a setup to what was going on, we had stakes, we had the climax with the fight, and we had a resolution. You know that was set up fine. It's like the first episode. So overall, my as I got my final thoughts, I like it. It to use a lot less of the rapping. And it could get rid of some of his inconsistency problem, but overall it's not bad. It, it's, it's getting better. And as long as uh, Tetsuya doesn't, you know, keep doing that and trying to steal the show. He will. That's all he's designed to do. Wait, what is the next one? Well, hopefully Osmond I steals it from him then. But as long as they keep that in check and we get the Danger World guy to be, you know, dangerous, be the Kai of the series, I think it'll be okay. Uh, opinions on uh, Emily. Um, I really liked it a lot. I want uh, Banana Head to go die in a pit. I refuse to even speak his name, also because I forget it. <laughs> even though we've said it like seven times in this episode. Tetsuya. 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 Uh, just, yeah, Asmo died, best character. I want more of him, but I want less of his buddy. Elliot. We're done, man. Can't well, take this uh, shit anymore. Oh, uh, you bad. You can't be done. It's our job, man. We gotta report to people. Gotta deal with it. Not only is it bad, it's offensively bad. Yeah. If I can muscle through it, you can. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, don't let Elias die uh, dis discouraging words discourage you. Give it a chance at the very least. Because it's two likes to one dislike. It's at least worth worth a look. Especially if you want to see your buddy the fight fight carries, I guess, Moonwalk. Very weird, but that's what it is. Yeah, and that's perfect. Oh, yeah, Grandma is super flexible. Well, yeah, she's probably the one taught the mom how to fight. Yeah. So you like this guy? No lines. Don't get All right, I think it's takes care of that episode. Uh, be ready for uh, next week with episode four. And not just that, but also the release of the uh, first actual stuff for uh, Buddy Fight, Trial Dex 1 and 2. Which well, are Danger World outfits. and Dragon World Galvary. Yeah, yeah, yes. We yes. also will be having the promos for the tournaments here. Because those come with them. Alright then. So we'll be look, please look forward to that. As well as the week after that when we get the first booster. And we'll break what's actually in the ammo. And we'll buy at least maybe one or two boxes. Yep, we'll see what's... See if there's any consistency. Yep, we'll see if the same uh, hollow trick works in this as it does in Vanguard, where usually one side is more favored than the other. We'll see the kind of ratios we will get, and maybe, who knows, maybe we'll be lucky enough to pull a buddy rare for whoever here is going to be playing Jackknife Dragon. I think that's going to be Katie. She says I'm going to be playing uh, Jackknife. I'm not sure. Not that it'll matter. I'm pretty sure he doesn't show up until the next set. I'm still waiting for my world to show up. Oh yeah, it's, so it's a zombie uh, samurai world. Yeah. Yeah. I must see my character. Yeah, I just can't wait for freaking uh, Ninja World still. People, I know it's the Tower of I'm going Ninja, Cyber Ninja Squad. Let's do this. Hey, Elliot. Yes. Well, until next time, everyone. Bye. Yeah. See ya. Uh, uh, comment below if you have anything that we missed that you want us to bring up, anything about the episode you wanted to talk about, any opinions. And also, um, your world of choice, if you have one. If you don't, look at the cards and choose one. It's almost time, people. It's almost time. I know it feels like it's been out forever because of the show and junk, but no, it's it's, it's happening. It's happening. 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 See everybody.